these five levels are harder than Abyss of Darkness, which is the hardest level currently. Let's start off with Akron. Akron is a sister level to the former top one, Tartars. It was finished in July 2021 and was picked up by Wolves to verify. He wouldn't upload a progress video until October 2021, where he would achieve a run of 38 and 33 to 68. But he'd come back with 68% and be pretty surprised by this. No! Oh my, what the fuck was that? Only one third of the level is left now. Could he finish the level off? He would completely shock the community a few weeks later by getting an insane 85%. Starting the new year off though, he would get 92%, with only 8% of the level left. The demotivation will leave Wolves not playing the level for months, making it seem like this would never be verified. Of course, he would end up coming back though. He would get some progress, but the straw that broke the camel's back would be one of the worst fails in GD to date. 96%. Add only 96% of you are subscribed, so smash that sub- Okay, but seriously, subscribe if you're enjoying the video, it helps a ton. But just like Dillstick dropped Abyss of Darkness, Walls would drop Akron. Now the question to the community was, who would begin verifying it? Well, Akron would become an open verification and the race to beat it would begin. Alpha would begin making progress first, getting 38% on his first progress video. He had poured in over 40,000 attempts into it already, showing how absurd this level is. This would be followed up by 44, 55, and finally 67%. But a new competitor would emerge. This is Zoink, the second victor of Slaughterhouse. His first progress video would be 66%, following in Wolf's footsteps. What? What? <laughs> what? This wouldn't be the last time he would follow in Wolf's footsteps, though. A few weeks later, though, he would end up getting 91%. He was close to Wolf's progress. But just like Wolf was done, fortunate what happened. 96%. The law was absurdly close to being verified and can be verified any day from now. But another absurd level is Eternal Night. The law was first previewed way back in 2019, but unfortunately the video has been lost since then. It would initially be pretty controversial due to it looking generic. Luckily though, with the redecoration, most of the drama would go away. One of the first verifiers would be Swyborg, getting multiple runs like 20 and 75 to 100 at the start of 2021 but progress would quickly fade away. Besides a few small runs, the level would end up being completely forgotten by the community, but out of nowhere, Chris picked up the level. He achieved an insane run of 67 to 100, and if that wasn't enough, the copy was way harder than Swyborg's. Yes! Hell, bruh. This was one of the first big runs in a while, and the community was on the edge of their seats. But not even a day later, Crush would do the unthinkable. He would get 63 to 95, fluking it from 82. Curse even said that this was one of his best achievements. The level even began a redecoration for the final time, and so far it looks stunning. But a way crazier level is Misanthrope, which has been in the works since 2018. Not only is the level 6 minutes long, but it features a wide cast of players from all areas of the game. To begin, we have to go back to August 14th, 2021. This is Big Mac. He'd been grinding the level since around 2020, and would slowly build up progress. But 75,000 attempts in, he would get one of the biggest runs yet, 65 to 100. To put this into scale, this run is about the difficulty of Zodiac and is 2 minutes long. He would end up taking a break for a while, but he would come back strong, getting 52 to 95 percent. The fact that he had almost done half the level was just absurd. To get this run, he would double his attempts from 75,000 to 150,000. Only a few days later though, he would do another insane run. This run would be 44 to 89, and is said to be around firework difficulty. There wouldn't be progress for another two months, but progress would return. However, it wouldn't be by Big Mac, but a player by the name of Trick. This run is about the difficulty of 44 to 89. The solo is nearly done in two runs, with either Trick or Big Mac being the verifiers in the future. But okay, let's take a break from insanely long levels to more short levels. This is Azure Flare, a level that was originally top 1, but nerfed down to top 30 difficulty. The level would end up being verified by Xenity, but the story doesn't end there, it only begins. 
This is Aiden, one of the most determined players I've ever seen. He's been playing since 2019, with one of his first progress videos being 64 to 100. On a month later, he would end up getting 47 to 81, and a day later, 33 to 67. But that doesn't even compare to what happened a month later. He would get 36 to 81 percent, nearly passing the entire wave, the hardest part of the level. He would also be given permission to verify this, giving a huge motivation boost for Aiden. To show how dedicated Aiden was, he would end up getting a run of 45 only 2 weeks later. His progress was outstanding, and it shows how far players can push this little cube game. However, despite the progress, Aiden remained fairly unknown to the wider community. He would take a break from the level, but would come back strong with absurd progress, 63%. Yes, I did it! By now, he had poured in 250,000 attempts, which was completely unheard of for the time. It's more than top ones today. A few weeks later, he would get 69%. Nice. But with all the great progress, there always comes fails. The level seemed actually possible with Aiden getting 77%. It was the final stretch. Mysteriously though, all progress would vanish. Maybe it was because of the fail, but there was no progress for weeks, months, and even years. And to break the silence, Aiden would get 61-100% to 100% on an even harder version. This run is even harder than 66p, the hardest part of Sukuban Circles. Luckily though, unlike last time, he was here to stay, getting a run of 35% a few weeks later. Aiden serves as one of the most dedicated players I've ever seen, and I wish him the best of luck on beating this beast. Another beast of a level is Silent Club Step, one of the most iconic levels to date. Some of the most significant progress started around 2020, with a player named Hyperbola. He began playing the level around June 2020, over two years ago. Hyperbola would continue making a bunch of small runs, and remain pretty unknown. However, this would all soon change with one of his most popular runs. After months of playing, he would end up doing the impossible. 24 to 100. Holy frick! This was the world record by far, and he would finally get some recognition from it. The community was shocked. One of the hardest impossible levels being 75% done. But it wouldn't end there. He would get 15%, almost clearing the pre drop. This might not seem special, but the pre drop is said to be harder than 24 to 100. The level is almost in two runs, but who would finish the pre drop off? This is Paco, a player known for beating various challenges. He would go on to beat the entire pre-job, and just like 24 to 100, this would blow away everyone. The once unbeatable level now looked a lot less intimidating, as it was now in two runs. But the true reason I'm talking about this level is a player by the name of Vision. He would get various world records on this level, despite having Black Blizzard as his hardest. Those records were unthinkable. But if those runs were enough, he would end up getting this run. Vision would end up getting 65%, also completely turning the community on their heads. Paco hadn't played since her 25% run, but would come back to race Vision to finally finish this level off. She would not only pass 65%, but pass the entire duel. She would end up dying to the second jump of the 8 jumps of hell, 72%. Vision hasn't stopped playing, but has gone pretty unlucky. Dying to 65 7 times. Silent Club Step is even closer to being beaten, and will be the hardest level once it's verified. All of these levels are harder than Abyss of Darkness, but what is the race to beat Abyss of Darkness? Find out here.